Hi, we're Maddie and Nico, and we are turning this empty cargo van into this tiny home on wheels. We have no building experience, but we'll take you along each step as we transform our 2020 Ford Transit van. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to our channel. Thank you for following along with our build. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how we custom fit a purple mattress into our van. So if you want to be as comfy as you are in your house bed while living or camping in your van, this is the video for you. First, we took measurements of the bed frame area and I drew this very professional mock-up of our bed. You can pause the video to see our measurements here. Next, we headed to the Goodwill in search of an electric turkey carving knife, which we secured for about $5. After removing the zip-on mattress cover, we cut this funny cheesecloth thing that came on the purple mattress and discarded it. Next, we measured our cut lines and used a chalk line to mark them. Then we took the turkey carving knife to that bad boy and we cut that mattress like butter. And here we have it. I'll well, just throw it in. That's what I see first. Let me see how it works. <laughs> it sure does. Oh, it's so much more comfortable than sleeping in here with sleeping pads up. I think it's like perfectly level. With our window. Ooh, I can not, still not fitted. I can still sit up. Are you worried about that? I'm worried about Nico a little bit. <laughs> I'm coming in. Okay. Isn't this an exciting step? I think so. More exciting than electrical. Oh, that's going to be a head bonker. <laughs> I fit. <laughs> So here's the bed all made and how we use it today. It almost never looks this good. It's always just a mess, but I made it just for you guys. As you can see, I am six foot. I fit just fine. We oftentimes work from the van as well. So those of you who are curious about the headroom here, I can easily just sit up, grab my computer and work from bed right here. So for the headroom, if I sit up, I still have plenty of room, maybe two inches right here. Again, I'm six foot tall. If you're planning on building your bed like this and you want bump outs, but you don't want to buy the flare space bump outs or other brands, you can watch our video on how to bump out the walls into the Ford Transit's metal cavities. So you can just build your bump outs into the wall. One thing we won't go over in this video is how we framed out the bed. We just use these two big pieces of oak, one here, one on the back end too. That will be in our finishing touches video. So we cut our purple mattress from a queen size mattress down to somewhere in between a full size mattress and a queen. 
obviously with a couple little adjustments to go around the corners and our bump outs. But the mattress is a nine inch thick purple mattress. So it is a bit on the heavier side for our van. And we're okay with that because we didn't have to go out and buy a new mattress for our van. Instead, we could use this mattress, which we already owned and it's also super comfortable. So we're very happy with it. If you have a foam mattress of some sort, you could follow this video and use a turkey carving knife to cut down any foam mattress, it'll work the same. Overall, Nico and I are very happy with this mattress and we wouldn't change anything about this part of our build. If you have any questions, just let us know down below and give this video a like.